Hi everyone, I am back with a new video. I am Dominique. For those of you who don't know me, for all of my returning subscribers, I love having you guys here. I thought I would put together a video of the most top complimented perfumes that are in my collection. And these perfumes that I'm going to feature are really, really popular ones, accessible perfumes. None of these are really niche perfumes. You can find them at, you know, your favorite department stores and Sephora. I feel that these are the most complimented perfumes because frankly when I wear them the compliments just roll in. So I'm one of those women who is unapologetically feminine. I love being a woman. I love feeling sexy and pretty. A great perfume to me is something that frankly oozes femininity and sexiness and womanliness. In my personal opinion and this was cemented by watching one of my favorite perfume channels here on YouTube, Jeremy Fragrance. I love this guy. I watched one of his videos and he stated, and I totally agree with him, that, you know, women aren't supposed to smell like leather jackets and campfire and, you know, they're not supposed to smell like men. I feel like women are supposed to smell sexy and beautiful and all of these perfumes I'm about to show you encompass those characteristics. So before I jump into this video, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. There's also a little bell next to the subscribe button. You can turn on notifications so that you are alerted whenever I have a new video go live. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and check out my Instagram at dominique.baker. I would really appreciate that. All right, let's go. So my first most complimented perfume here is Miss Dior. I think this is a classic feminine scent. It's a great scent to wear every day. It's something that I wear to the office. And it's sort of a fresh, beautiful perfume with, you know, main notes of Bulgarian rose, neroli, Turkish rose, and base notes of patchouli. I just think it's a beautiful perfume. It is a crowd pleaser. It's absolutely lovely. It also has great longevity. I spray it on in the morning and I don't need to reapply it during the day. My next most complimented perfume is Dior's Hypnotic Poison. I adore this perfume. It is one of those sexy vanilla scents. It's something that I love to wear on a girl's night out or out to dinner. I sometimes wear it during the day, but I do find it a little heavy for day wear. So it's a sexy oriental vanilla with notes of apricot, plum, patchouli. It's lovely. I feel that whenever I wear this, my husband is all over me. I think it's just beautiful. It's a crowd pleaser. It's one of Dior's most popular perfumes also. So a recent addition to my collection is Lancôme's La Vie est Belle en Rose. I think this is a gorgeous perfume. It's one of those perfumes where you spray it on and you give somebody one of those double cheek kisses and they get that gentle whiff of it and it's just feminine, sexy, and beautiful. I wear this during the day, I wear it at night, it's lovely. It's something that I feel I will always keep in my collection. This has heavy notes of raspberry, definite notes of peony and rose. Also smell iris and sandalwood in this. I, it's just, it's romantic and beautiful and gotta love this bottle. I think it's just beautiful. Lancôme hit it out of the park with this one. So I'm on my second bottle of Coco Mademoiselle. I love this Chanel perfume. It is another crowd pleaser. It's one of those where I just feel it elevates a whole look. I feel that perfume is part of an outfit and this is something that I wear to the office, I wear during the day. It's also great at night. It is lovely. It's fresh and citrusy and has notes of rose, lychee, jasmine, patchouli, and sandalwood. It also has notes of bergamot, which is one of my favorite scents on earth. I absolutely love this perfume. It's elegance in a bottle. So another favorite of mine is Bulgari's Eau Tibla. I think it's completely 
elegant. My best friend Katrina and I, this is one of our favorite perfumes. Again, this is something that I'm on my second bottle of this. My husband bought this for me as a gift. That's what I love. One of the things I love about my husband is when he travels, he'll stop off at those duty-free stores at the airport and always brings me back a great perfume. That guy knows me and he knows what I love perfume-wise and he is the main contributor of my great perfume collection. This has notes of tea, bergamot, cardamom, pepper, amber, and orange blossom. I think it is quintessentially feminine. It is elegant. It, you know, would complement a great suit or a fabulous dress. I like to wear these to you know, fancy events out. I just think it's a stunning perfume. I think it's also really original. I'm, I'm a huge, like it reminds me of Earl Grey tea, which is one of my favorite drinks out there. And last but not least is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Okay, look, I am a huge fan of Tom Ford. He cannot do any wrong in my eyes. This perfume is sex in a bottle. I feel that it doesn't get any better than this. This perfume's not for everyone, but it's definitely for me and I love it. <laughs> I feel like it really, really does well with my own chemistry. And you know, on some people it, it smells a bit masculine, but on me it's quite feminine. It strikes me as something a Bond villainess would wear. This is your bad girl sexy perfume. I adore it. This is your night out perfume, something you wear to a gala or a ball. It's absolutely fabulous. It's also, I feel, totally unique and interesting, just like Tom Ford himself. So it has notes of French jasmine, black currant, dark chocolate, like, oh, it's so good, patchouli, citrus, amber, and vanilla. I love this. I will always keep this perfume in my collection. Whenever I wear this, like it turns heads. I get a ton of compliments on it. It is sexy, 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 sexy. I adore it. So some honorable mentions. I've got Lancôme's Idole here. I recently got this. This was sent to me by Lancôme and I love it. My favorite scents are Singular Note Florals, and this is very rosy. So when I say that it's very rosy, this is not your grandmother's perfume. I feel like it's complex and beautiful and elegant. So its main notes are rose, pear, jasmine, and bergamot. I think it's totally lovely. It's a really special rose perfume. Again, Lancôme did really, really well with this. It has great longevity too, like a little goes a long way. I'll spray it on in the morning, no need to reapply. I also love the refillable bottle. It's sustainably sourced perfume. Also, well done, Lancôme. The other honorable mention, and sorry, I don't have a bottle of this because I ran out and I didn't replace it, is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. I think everybody on earth has a bottle of this perfume, and rightfully so, because it's light and feminine. It is your quintessential summer fragrance. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful limey cedar scent. It's very, very feminine. I love it. That reminds me, I should go out and get another bottle. So what are your favorite perfumes? What perfumes do you wear where you get the most compliments? Please let me know. I love discovering new perfumes. It's one of my favorite things on earth. So again, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Some of these perfumes I've reviewed on my blog, styledomination.com. I'll leave the links to the blog post so that you can read them too. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.